Hey everybody, Alex the Diamond Scientific here. I uh, was having a problem with an analyzer, so I figured I'd do a little mini video blog about it. Um, this analyzer on the right, we're having some problems with the leak proof test. Uh, the analyzer on the left is uh, has been recently serviced, so it's good to go. Uh, so I'm just going to show you what a successful leak proof test looks like. I'm doing this one handed, so excuse me here. You can see that I've closed the loop from the analyzer's intake into the pressure sensor. So that is gonna check for a good vacuum, meaning that all the seals inside the analyzer are good to go. So it looks like this. Leak proof test, you can hear the pump pulling against the vacuum. So we're good, we got a good vacuum means all of our connections are good to go. So now we'll take a look at our problem analyzer here. Do the same thing, excuse me. Same situation, leak proof test, pump working. Okay, so we're leaking. That means we got um, some bad seals somewhere. So, the first culprit we're going to look for is our condensate separators. That's these guys. They're going to catch the majority of the nasty stuff before it gets into the sensitive components of the analyzer. So, uh, we know that this one works. Uh, let's try this one from the good analyzer onto this one the problem analyzer. Let's see what happens. Let's run the same test. Okay, so very likely is that this condensate separator is the main culprit. And to make sure, we're gonna take this one, which again was originally from the problem analyzer, and we're gonna try it on our good analyzer. And if this thing truly is the culprit, then we're going to get a leak on this analyzer. Okay, so we know we've just confirmed then that switch these bad boys again. So we've confirmed that this analyzer and this condensate separator are good to go and that this condensate separator has a leak somewhere. So what we can do for that, I can do this one-handed. We can take these things apart. So basically I'm gonna check this part of the condensate separator. I'm gonna check this little filter. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So I've got it all separated out. We can see that there's some dirt in there that we can clean out. The O-ring looks okay. Let's see over here. Filter looks pretty clean. Possibly could be this O-ring. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. This other connection looks dirty in there, but the O-ring, mm, it could be better. I'll give this thing a good clean with some uh, alcohol wipes and then we'll try the test again. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how um, how these tests work and how we determine um, where problems exist and how to fix them. Thanks a lot.